everyone, I'm Kathy, the Plumpy Soaper. Today, I'd like to share the making of psychedelic heart soap, made by combining wall four and towers rail techniques. I made this soap together with my friend, Dr. MJ. Hi, MJ. She was on vacation, and her trip will not be complete without making her first ever soap. Before we start, I would like to thank you for joining me again this week. If you are new here in my channel, please consider subscribing for a weekly soap making video, DIY tutorials, or recipe sharing from me. Soap making is my passion, so I would really appreciate if you can join me in my soap making journey so we can learn and grow together. So, let's get started! Today, we use the same recipe that I used in my previous soap. She will be doing all the work and I'll be around to guide her. Follow along so you would also learn on how to make the psychedelic heart soap. Let's start by pouring 37% lye solution into the oil blend. This concentration is what I use with the no-stick blender mixing technique. Be careful when you do this at home and when you handle lye solution because it is caustic and it can burn your skin. Well, for May J, I am not worried and I don't have to remind her about lye safety because May J is my laboratory partner during our university days. We both graduated with a degree in chemistry so I'll give you a quick chit chat while we are preparing this soap. As a chemist, there are three possible pathways. First route will be those who are like me, who took the chemistry licensure examinations and immediately joined the workforce as industry chemist. There are different types of chemists, each industry and each company needs at least one chemist so the medicines that you take, the food that you eat, the shampoo that you use, the paint in your home, the fuel in your car, almost everything around you are researched, developed, analyzed, controlled, and assured by a chemist to ensure its quality and safety. Next will be those who took the postgraduate studies with the intent to join the academe. And the last route would be May J's route. She took further studies to pursue medicine. Most of my classmates took this route, so Dr. Meiji is now working as an anesthesiologist in the hospital. Okay, going back in our soap, Meiji already added the pure seduction fragrance oil. For the design, when I asked Meiji on what colors does she want for the soap, she told me that she would like to have something colorful and merry, so we decided to make a rainbow mix. She also wanted to have it in a heart shape, so I came up with the psychedelic heart soap idea to match her request. We just did a wall pour cause I think it would be easy and doable for beginners. We also did a slight swirl for the design. Once the solution had emulsified, I asked May J to pour into the rainbow premix and I've added titanium dioxide for the white color so we used a total of 8 colorants. Next, we just need to stir the solution properly to evenly disperse the colorants and in doing so, our butter will be in light gray.
Now let's pour into an acrylic vertical heart mold. I'll show the first rainbow color set, then Mayj will do the rest. Next, we just need to gently tap the mold to release any air bubbles and air pockets so that the soap will come out nice and smooth during the cut. To complete the psychedelic swirl, we need to combine the wall pour with the swirl. Here is an illustration of the swirl so you will have an idea on how the design would be. Then, I added an extra swirl step, just a circular motion covering half the mold.
After two days, we are ready to unmold and cut the soaps. And while we are doing that, it's time for the question of the week. What do you think about the psychedelic swirl? Would you consider this a beginner, an intermediate, or an advanced technique? Let me know why and please help to share your thoughts by writing it down in the comment section below. I would also like to take this opportunity to send a big thank you and virtual hug to all of my 2,500 subscribers as I record this video. Our family is getting bigger and thank you so much for the friendship, the love, and the support that you always give me. To some, this number doesn't mean anything because they have more than 6 digits of subscribers but to me, it means the world to me. It just means that there are 2,500 awesome people out there who appreciates what I do and supports me in my soap making journey and adventures. To communicate more with you, I'll officially publish the secret Facebook group that I made in 9 November 2016. I closed it down after 2 minutes because I know that I am a one-man show and it would be very hard for me to manage. This time around, I am inspired and really motivated because our soap sister Elizabeth White will be there to administer the group with me. Feel free to join us starting on 10 October. This will be our platform to communicate more and help one another in case you have soap making questions. This is a new group so don't be surprised that when you go into this Facebook group, you will be the first member. See you there! Thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed what I shared, please leave a like and a comment below. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon to keep you posted of my weekly uploads. Until next time, bye bye and happy birthday to those who will be celebrating their birthdays this month. God bless!